So this is your last one, right? Stop size at 0 0.1, and you're trying to figure out x1, x2, x3, and x4. So you start with the initial one, which is f0. And from that, you get x1 to be your initial x1 times h, which gets you 0 0.1. And to find the value of that f, you plug it in the equation. So we get minus 1 squared cosine 0, which is minus 1. And then we take this and we plug it into Euler's formula to find y of 1, which is y0 plus f of x is 0, y0 h, which is 1, because the original point is 1, 0, 1, plus uh, negative 1, which we got, times 0 0.1. So we get 0 0.9 for y1. And then for x2, we take the original x0 and we add to it two step sizes. So 0 plus 2 times 0 0.1. So x2 would be at 0 0.2. You got that? And then to find y2, we iterate the y. So we take y1 plus the derivative evaluated at x1, y1 times the step size. So that's the derivative evaluated at um, um, 0 0.1, 0 0.9. So it will be negative y squared cosine x, which is negative 0 0.9 squared cosine 0 0.1 times the h, which is 0 0.1, added to the original y. 1, which turned out to be 0 0.9. So we get 0 0.819405. Did you get 0 0.819405 for y2? And then... To um, the second one, I got... So the first one, I got... I got negative 1, and then I, then I got negative 1.99. For which one? Um, for the for the second one, I got one point. Or I got negative one, and then I and then I got negative one point nine nine five. For y two? Yeah, wait. How did you get point nine? Uh, point nine is your y one. Y1 turned out to be 0 0.9. Right, y, well, for the first one I have is Y0. Yeah, Y0 is the given one. It's just 1. Yeah, so that's negative. It's negative 1. So negative 1. No, it's 1. Look at the book. Y of 0 is oh, 1. Oh, Y of 0, yeah. Yeah, Y of 0 is 1. Yeah. So we're at Y2.819405. Well, Y prime. I got y prime of, of zero to be negative one. And then, because the, we're plugging it into the... the yes, right yes, now. y prime is negative one. You plug it here, and you get one minus point one, which is point nine. Because y zero is one, f of x zero, y zero turns out to be minus uh, one, which is the derivative times the step size uh, times point one, which is point nine. You're adding right, the step size of the derivative. You're not adding the entire the derivative. Right, this is the, the derivative to the actual equation. Right. All right. And then to go to y3, you iterate y2 plus f of x2, y2 times h. And that's our y2 that we got here on this step. Plus, now we at x2, y2, we evaluate the derivative at x2, y2, yeah. which is 0 0.2 comma 0 0.819405. We plug them into minus y because squared cosine x, we multiply by the step size, so we get y3 is 0.7563. The x step here is a bit out of order. Next, we can find uh, x3. So maybe x3 would be better placed here. So x3, because now we're going to use x3, is x0 plus 3 times the step size. So that's 0 0.3. Yeah. Wait for the... For, um... All right. For y1, wouldn't y1 just, or yeah, y1, wouldn't it just be, it would just be negative 1. So that, oh yeah, that was, uh, that was y2, yeah, yeah, that was y2 where you, 
Yeah, this was y2, and then we get x. Oh, wait, then we get y3 to be y2 plus the derivative evaluated at x2, y2 multiplied by the step size. Yes. This is the derivative. Wait, we so plug in x2, y2, so we get 0. 0.763. Wait, yeah. Get and then we can find x3 to be 0. 0.3. X0 plus 3 times the step size, which is 0 0.3. And then maybe this X4, I don't think we're going to need it. Yeah, let's not up to Y4. So we can just eliminate this here. Um, and then the final step, we just go y3 plus f evaluated at x3 y3 times h y3 is what we got here plus x3 is 0 0.3 and y3 is 0 0.7563 we plug it into minus y squared cosine x multiplied by the step size added to the previous y we get y4 what is that your question so how did you get y1 equal to 0.9 so you started at y1 or y0 